you think business cards are the way to go as far as the networking, I've got the ultimate networking hack for you. Are professional business cards the answer? If so, how? I can't seem to get people to connect with me after handing them out at shows and networking events. Are they not jazzed up enough? Look, I've had business cards. I still have some business cards. But what I have found is like the ultimate networking hack. Stickers. A few reasons why. So one of the first things that happen when I give out my stickers, uh, well, first of all, people love Don't Kill My Vibe. They think that is freaking hilarious and awesome because my DJ alias is Kilma. So they're like, yeah, I love that play on words. One of the first places I see people put this is on the very thing they pick up a million times, their phone, which is so super excellent. So when I am conversing with people and figuring out like what's going on with them, are they, do they do music? Do they do art? Are they into sports? Like I just want to know about them and kind of get a feel for if this is kind of the kind of person, kind of the kind of person, if this is the kind of person that I'm vibing with, if I feel like I am vibing with them, that is definitely where I'm going to turn around and ask them, what is your favorite social network and why? So for some people, it is Instagram because they love the stories. They love following the behind the scenes for other people's. Maybe it is Twitter because they are so down with the lingo and they love the controversial conversations that go on there. For other people, it is Facebook. They just love you know, stay in touch with what's going on in people's lives from pictures and videos to the dialogue going on there. So it's different for everyone. Um, and that's why, and I've said this in other videos, it's important to have real estate on all of them. <laughs> but getting back to this, once I find out what their favorite social media handle is, or once I figure out what their favorite social media platform is, that's where I can ask them, do you mind if I add you? Yes, that's right, friends. I don't ask people to add me. I add them. And then I check out their content. I engage with it. I see what they're posting about and then make some sort of thought-provoking comments and or question to create the engagement. I'll like a few of their photos, which of course, if they go and check out recent photos and or recent comments and likes and stuff, I'm going to be one of the first people to pop up. Now, if they like the things that I'm doing and saying, they'll add me back. If they don't, that's totally cool. Thing is, when you are networking with people, instead of expecting them to reach out to you, it's important that you reach out to them if you are feeling that vibe there. Another really important thing to remember is that, you know, asking people to add you and then them coming to the realization that they just don't really care about what you're doing. They're just one more person on your page that isn't going to engage. And let me tell you, spaces like Facebook know that and they're not going to show your stuff to as much people, especially on that list, if they know they're not going to engage anyways. So it's better to have people that you believe in, that believe in you, rather than just having another numbered like on there. So I hope that you will consider this in the future. I know that some of us have it a little twisted on that now arcane thing and the likes and comments. If it's not authentic, it's not worth it. It really is not. So don't worry about the number, worry about the quality of people that you're trying to connect with and whether or not you know you wanna bring more of that into your life and make sure you're being that person yourself. If you've got any Ask Kim questions, make sure you hashtag Ask Kim on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, or hit me up at Kim Music on pretty much all the social media platforms. Much love.